And obviously, if um, further people are, are joining, I'll be letting them in. Um, but yeah, for your very welcome, guys, to our webinar today with Bentley Systems. I'm joined by Maria Gukovidaru, Account Manager at Bentley. I hope I'm pronouncing your surname correctly there, so Maria is <laughs> doing my best job there. Um, so we're, we're delighted to formally announce our partnership with Bentley Systems uh, as the primary sponsor of our Where There Is No Engineer Design Initiative. Uh, and as part of this partnership, we're offering students the opportunity to access Bentley software, uh, their microstation suite of visualization and modeling software, which will support students in their uh, designs for the Where There Is No Engineer competition, but can support you obviously generally in all of your college work and, uh, and assignments. So for those of you who may not be familiar with our Where There Is No Engineer competition, I see some familiar names there, so I, I know some of you will know it. But for those of you who are new to EWB, uh, our Where There Is No Engineer competition uh, has been running for a number of years, and we run it jointly with the development technology in the community group at TU Dublin. And we challenge participants in the competition to design solutions to real life development challenges in an EWB partner location, which this year is Cowboy Zambia. Uh, so this is across a range of themes. It can be climate resilient infrastructure, uh, self-supply water and sanitation, um, energy and health, and so on. And um, Isabel, just to, oh yeah, we're just going back to Maria's screen share there. So I wanted to check that was, that was fine. Um, so yes, with, with our competition, then every year student teams are competing to uh, have a chance to go forward to the national finals. Uh, and then in the national final stage to be selected as a winner and have a chance to develop their design further in our EWB Innovation Academy uh, together with the DTC Research Group. So next year, uh, in the next academic year, one lucky winning team will have the opportunity to take part in an internship facilitated by Bentley and supported by EWB. Uh, so if you'd like to find out more about EWB's work, if you're new to us as an organization, um, do check us out on our website, ewb-ireland.org, and you can read about all the different projects that we're involved in, uh, the Wittang competition and beyond. Uh, and you can become a member of EWB for an annual fee of 20 euros. If you'd like to find out more about, about, more about us, uh, don't hesitate to get in touch with me after the webinar as well. Uh, but for now, I'm going to pass over to Maria, who's going to talk to you about the work that Bentley does and the software opportunities for students. So Maria, over to you. Thank you so much, Emma, and uh, thank you so much, the engineers without borders for organizing this. We are also and I can see that we can I can speak from Isabella as well, who organized all this initiative. We are very excited that we participate with you guys. Our goal as Bentley Systems is to uh, promote and take and give more opportunities to young students exactly like you like here. So what uh, we I will show you today, they might, you might have seen this, you might have not seen this. It's absolutely fine. Uh, the reason why we are doing this is because uh, we are giving you all the material in order for you to get into the industry, if you want, or into universities maybe later, or to your, your, ne your next job opportunity more easily. So that's our goal, how, the, how this transition from the university to the next, uh, your next step is going to be easier. So uh, what I will show you today, and I think I can uh, go slowly slowly to the overview is uh, we are going to uh, reply we're going to uh, answer some question life and uh, life questions like who am i who is bentley systems uh some introduction to the smart construction for the people who have already heard about smart construction uh, you might uh, see this a bit boring but i think you will you, you will you will find a bit exciting what we have done in smart construction with bentley systems so and then there are, going to, there are some cool projects and then we're going to talk about some other stuff which are not again software oriented and how we could help you more and then we will see the next steps like how you can get our solutions you can get everything we have you can take them use them get your project done and then the winner will get an internship so that's the final goal for today so let me start about the life question of who am i so I, my name is Maria Govedaru, as I'm a very well pronounced. I'm an associate account manager in Bentley, which means nothing to you. It's absolutely fine. Uh, it's actually that I'm responsible for the academic relationships in uh, Europe area. Uh, this is what I'm doing in Bentley systems. So some stuff about me. 
Uh, I'm from Greece. That's where this lovely accent is coming from. Uh, I'm a civil engineer myself. I work in a timber construction company, but then I joined Cambridge University for a research project. Uh, and then I was very glad because the Department of Engineering in Cambridge paid my master's. So I did my MPhil in Cambridge, paid by them in computer science. I'm very familiar with artificial intelligence, machine learning, and Internet of Things. Uh, then I joined the beautiful Bentley. Uh, we have a very strong collaboration with uh, Siemens. Uh, let me clarify what Bentley is. I hope you don't think that Bentley, when we talk about Bentley, we mean about the cars. It's not about the cars. Let me show you what Bentley is with this video. I hope you can hear it. So this is who we are. Uh, so our motto is, uh, our, first of all, what we are doing is that we are providing solutions, technological solutions for uh, the built environment. Uh, our motto, our motto is going digital. So anything that we are doing, hopefully we are trying to make it digital. Uh, we have lots of partners. Uh, we have a lot of users. Uh, in case you don't know, we have, we have strong partnership with Siemens with Microsoft, with Topcon. Uh, we have strong university for, uh, collaborations with UCL, Cambridge, Imperial, uh, University College Dublin, um, University of Limerick. And uh, we also have our construction users like BAMNETAL, uh, ARUP, ACOM, Atkins, uh, Highways England, Jacobs, John and Sisk, Mott McDonald. We have lots, I mean, uh, you can see them, you can find us. It's not, I'm not gonna talk a lot about them. But this is who we are. I hope I make this a bit clear and we are not uh, going to be confused as uh, the car company. Uh, so let me talk to you now about the smart construction. Trust me, it's going to be one slide lecture and then we are going to talk about only about case studies and what we have done about smart construction. So uh, when we talk as, about smart construction, in general, in, uh, the, in Bentley, we use uh, the, word, the, the term, sorry, digital twin which is like, uh, we mean that by that, that this is like uh, the digital, we, we want the digital replica of our physical infrastructure, of our physical building, for example. How are we don't gonna do this? So this is where uh, we are using terms that we might, you might have heard like machine learning, artificial intelligence, and mostly internet of things. So uh, when we're doing all these nice smart constructions, you know already this kind of stuff, of course, from some other applications, maybe in uh, the aviation or uh, maybe for even from your phones, when you, your phone recognizes your face, it's gonna it's doing detection, or uh, from uh, uh, offshore construction. Uh, and in general, what we want to do, what's, uh, the, what, what the reason why we're doing this is because we want to have this interaction. We want to have an interaction of data from the physical model to the digitized model and vice versa. So let me go a little bit more to the case studies that we have done. Let me talk to you about these uh, scenarios that we have done with the construction. And uh, I will mostly, to be honest, I will tell you more stuff about where I was involved. I will start with uh, Cambridge, where I was involved in that great project. Uh, because uh, uh, these were the, our collaborators, Cambridge University, Topcon, um, uh, Center for, Di for Digital Bill Britain, Smart, uh, Cambridge Center for Smart Infrastructure and Construction, GeoSlam and Redbyte. But because it's a huge video, if you don't mind, I will go a little bit here and I will show you this great video, which I think uh, it's uh, much better. Let me know if, I, if you cannot see it. 
uh, it's okay if you cannot hear it because I'm just gonna talk you through the video. So what we have done in Cambridge, so this is the West Cambridge area. Uh, this is uh, the Cambridge area in uh, the West Cambridge of the, uh, the West Cambridge area of Cambridge University. You can see that here, as you can see, it's a bit uh, like a distorted Google Maps uh, picture. Well, the reason why it's like that is because we took many pictures from a uh, drone and uh, from inside the buildings and we uh, collated all of them together. The reason why we did it, we, it was because we wanted to have uh, an as it is building, as it is construction. So we want to know how our construction looks like at the moment. Then how did we put this data? How did the, how did the physical um, uh, construction collaborated with the digital construction? The way, the way we did this, it was that we put some sensors. So it wasn't like uh, you know something mind blowing. It was just sensors. We put them inside the buildings and these sensors were giving us each minute uh, the temperature, the humidity of each room. So this is the way we were getting um, a live data and a live model from the West Cambridge. Why is this so uh, helpful? Well, um, let me show you why this might be a bit helpful. For example, if you go here inside this uh, area, this is uh, a very, um, uh, let's say, a very sensitive lab. When we have all these pumps, so these pumps, in case, for example, something happens, something doesn't work out, very, doesn't work very nicely, there, in order to avoid, let's say, an explosion, these pumps are already uh, giving us the information and we know if there is something wrong or not. Um, let me take you a little bit back here and let me get you to you, actually, to Ireland, to Dublin. So the, the similar concept, but on a different way, we did this for Dublin. Of course, I will provide you all the videos, no worries. So what we did in Dublin, that was a quite exciting project uh, that uh, I think Isabella is also included there. Uh, what they did in Dublin was uh, Dublin want to, be, to, to make the, what we call, a, wants to become actually what we call a smart city. So the reason they did it, it was, uh, well, be, be, before they did that and they wanted to change everything, before they do that, they said, we have to ask city, the citizens. So they said, OK, in, in case I want to uh, build this building, for example, uh, I want this to be, for example, 12 stories long. Well, my citizens, they want this to be, uh, they, they have a poll and they can decide if they want it to be like uh, 12 story long. They want, for example, to see if uh, this building is OK for their area, if they affect anything uh, on, the near, on the neighborhood. So they have a say. So Dublin, a city, in collaboration with the Dublin University and uh, Microsoft and us and Bentley Systems, they gave a, a say to the citizens. So that was the exciting part of uh, this project and also the fact that everything has been digitized. So we talk again about digital cities. Uh, let me take you again uh, to another city. So you might not know about this great city. Uh, this is where I'm using, um, I have an access to this uh, data set so I can show you not a video, but a, a real data set. Uh, this is Kaunas in Lithuania. In collaboration, sorry, in collaboration with uh, Kaunas Technological University. So I guess that uh, lots of universities have shown lots of um, uh, appreciation and uh, excitement about the digitalization of the cities. Uh, here in Kaunas, we have access to all, not all the buildings, but the public buildings. We have access to uh, the electrical, uh, sorry, to the um, energy staff. So, for example, um, they, this is still in uh, the first stage, so they are still working on it. But imagine, for example, if here we can get some data from this building uh, about the energy. So this uh, can regulate how uh, we can, uh, how much we can spend on the energy and so on. So um, let me go a little bit back and get you to the next nice uh, projects we have. And of course, uh, if you want to have, if you want to have, give any feedback, if you want to have a look more, I'm giving again all the links. And let me take you to again to your area, to Rotterdam. So um, in Rotterdam, we are working with BAM Lutal and we are creating uh, the library there. What we are trying to do, 
uh, is that we are trying to visualize the construction before the actual construction, which is the new normality, I think. We are using Microsoft HoloLens, the second version, in order to uh, insert our model inside to have so our construct our construct our sorry our the construction company uh, the client everyone the citizens can have again a say which is again very important for us um, also we are trying to track the plan we're trying to track uh, the progress we're trying to see uh, what are uh, what are what are the requirements what are the desires of each and every one of the client of all the members of uh, construction project and uh, this is the cool stuff uh, that is happening in your area, in case you're interested. But let me take you somewhere else. Let me take you to Barcelona. And uh, yes, uh, you all know Camp Nou, the Barca Stadium. Uh, so Barca Stadium is actually under renovation. I think it was about time. Uh, we are helping on this renovation on the same, uh, pro on the same concept. So let me take you a little bit uh, here. Uh, what we're trying to do, even better, here, yes, here. What we're trying to do, again, is that we are trying to visualize the design and the construction before it actually happens. Uh, we're trying to progress the everything. We're trying to plan in advance by visualizing everything. Uh, so it's just a progress, a monitor, a progress monitoring of our construction. So uh, the reason why I'm, I'm saying about all these cool projects is that we are trying to, because my, uh, when I joined Bentley, I had no idea about who this company is, to be honest. I thought it was the cars. That's why I'm starting my whole presentation like we are not the cars, because I had no idea that we are not the cars. So uh, but the reason why I'm saying this is because Bentley has a, a huge, it's like a secret, and not everyone knows about, what, uh, what, about these great projects. So uh, let me take you a little bit back. And I can continue, but I don't think we have the time with these uh, great projects about the project we did with Highways England. Uh, so, but because we don't, I don't think we, have, we do have that much time, let me take you a little bit to, that ben, to what Bentley is not. So Bentley is not just software. Uh, yes, of course, we are selling these solutions. Yes, of course. But what we're also trying to do is that we are trying to um, help the students. We are trying also to help the students before they go into the engineering to understand if they like it or not. Uh, we're trying to, to really uh, engage new students into engineering. So we have uh, lots of communities where, of course, you can join if you wish. I can provide you all the links. Uh, where you can have discussions and some games. Um, we are also trying to help uh, the young students, 17-year-old students, to uh, engage into the construction, to learn more about the construction. And actually, in fact, uh, we've done quite a lot of projects with uh, Lengoru, with uh, Mott McDonald, with Siemens. Uh, at the moment, we have a project in Liverpool with uh, where Mott McDonald, Siemens, uh, uh, came. Who else is it? Uh, Cambridge is it, uh, WSP, I think it's on there. So we have lots of uh, construction industry partners that are working with us in order to engage more students. Also, we are creating more co many competitions for you, actually. So this is an, one competition we had quite recently, uh, the digital infrastructure competition, where uh, this person here actually uh, gained a $5,000 as a prize, and we had even more prizes. Uh, 2,000 and uh, I think 1,000 for each category. And uh, what else we are trying to do is that we are trying to engage you with the industry. How are we doing this? So imagine, I don't, I don't know if you have seen this interview with uh, Bill Gates and Steve, Steve Curry. Uh, he's an NBA player. You know Bill Gates. I don't have to say anything about him. Uh, so he introduced Bill Gates uh, for uh, a job. And it was quite uh, fantastic. So on the same concept, I decided to do something that I call learning what they expect from you series, where this lady here, Negar, introduced my, um, let's say, boss, uh, in uh, the vice president of Bentley Systems. And the questions that she did were actually, so how can I start in civil engineering? And what are the industry requirements? What are they expecting from me? I mean, uh, how long should I stay in one job? Is this, uh, am I, are my skills good or not good? So these kinds of things. 
So we are helping people to engage with uh, the industry, with you actually, to engage with uh, the industry. So going after continuing with this, going to the last part, which is the internship part. And uh, as Emma very well said, uh, that's an internship that we will provide uh, in collaboration with Engineers Without Borders and Smart Dublin in one of our projects, hopefully in 2021-2022. And uh, these are the next steps for you. So if you want to pursue this internship, if you want to learn more about the stuff, if you want to, um, I don't know, if you want to challenge yourself a little bit, you can uh, start with our with the solutions we provide. Uh, you can uh, submit your project and then the, the award ceremony is coming. And then, of course, the winner is getting an internship. So uh, in case you want to ask me anything, I will write also my email in the chat box. And of course, if you want to uh, to communicate with Engineers Without Borders, but in case you need anything, just ping me, email me, whatever. Thank you so much. If there are any questions. Thank you, Maria. Um, it was great. Looks like we still have um, participants online. And um, I was just wondering for all the students participating, if they could maybe chat in the window and the chat window, or just tell us, is that the first time you've heard about Bentley? Or perhaps you were you, you came across a project or you've heard about us um, before? Feel free to unmute your guys, uh, yourselves as well, guys, if you want and to, to talk. Yeah, either if you want to talk or chat um, in the chat window, it would be great for us to know. Um... I mean, the, the first question is, was this interesting or was this like a loss of time? <laughs> this is the most interesting and the most uh, appropriate question now. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I understand. I perfectly understand you that uh, it was the first time because honestly, I was. It was also my first time when I worked for Bentley. It was my first time I heard about them. Uh, if you need anything, I will. Um, Emma will provide you with all the links, all the mm -hmm. presentation here. So if you need all the links, of course, please um, just just to go to the presentation and you will find them. I'm also going to drop my email address here in case anyone has any question or anything related to how you can access all the stuff that I told you now and even other stuff, whatever you need. Yeah. Uh, oh, you already, oh, I can see um, Calm Carty, if I'm not mistaken for my pronunciation. Uh, you're a part-time student, okay. And uh, you're already using ProjectWise and MicroStation in work. That, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for, <laughs> for your preference. Um, okay, so I'm going to respond to the question of Kevin. So Kevin, um, the initial conversation we had with Smart City just confirmed to us uh, that they are very interested in working with the finalists. Now, whether, you know, only when we have the finalists, we will be able to discuss whether it will be the summer internship or perhaps autumn internship. I know you work in groups, so we'll try to have that discussion before we finalize it, because it's very hard to agree on details when we, when we don't even know, you know, how many people um, but what we wanted to secure and, and be sure that Smart City confirmed to us the possibility of the internship, and they were super excited. So um, yeah. we can only come back to this discussion when we have the finalists. Yeah. I hope, I hope that helps. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll, we'll keep in touch with you on, Kevin. Um, essentially, as, as we're launching now the, the partnership with um, Bentley halfway through this, this year with the Weather is an Engineer competition, it's obviously opened the software to, to students to use who, who are taking part this semester. But due to the online nature at the moment uh, of colleges, um, we have very few teams um, that will be taking part this semester um, due to a number preferring to hold until we're in person again. So we're planning to fully launch it from September uh, for participation, but we will we'll keep fully in touch with you on it. Uh, okay, I'm also reply to the links. I can send you all the links here if you want, but we will provide you also through, um, uh, through the presentation itself. I'm just going to drop everything here. Um, I'm just going to spam you for a while. I'm sorry for that. I hope you can uh, 
We have so we have two questions there. Adam, uh, I may just very quickly come to um, to you myself. So I think you were asking about information for the project brief that you could give us. I, I presume you mean for um, taking part in where there is no engineer. So uh, absolutely, I can share that information with you if you wanted to um, take part your yourself or or with the team. Um, independently and uh, we very much welcome people to do that so and um, the brief as I mentioned this year is for Cabway in Zambia and designing for a school and emergency shelter there and um, but I will send on the the full information uh, to you afterwards Adam if you'd like to um yeah if you want to take part and uh, I can keep in touch uh, and then there's a question from Kenza um, asking do you take on product designers so I'd pass over to yourself and Maria or Isabella if you'd like to, to come in on that uh, so, sorry, what was the question? I'm very apologies so because there's, I was dropping the okay. <laughs> no, There's a question from uh, Kenza. If you take on product designers at um, Bentley. Of course, of course. I think Isabella is uh, the most appropriate person to talk about this here. But uh, sure, uh, we cover all the uh, everything related to infrastructure. So absolutely. Kenza, absolutely. And also because uh, due to time, I was uh, rushing a lot into the project and I didn't give too, much, too many details and many apologies about this. If anyone wants to learn more about this, just drop me a mail. I mean, it's very easy. I'm very, I'm, I will reply to you most likely within two days. So if uh, there is anything else that uh, you might need, of course, not again, uh, software oriented, anything that uh, you're struggling with your well, about the jobs, about the careers. I mean, I'm very happy to help anything that you have in mind. And we definitely will be partnership with this design competition for this academic year and for the next academic year. So you would expect us to be more present on the, um, you know, in the training area and um, looking into, um, you know, into when you already submit your project, we will be involved and obviously for the awards part and, um, and and the finalists, definitely we will be there to support you in any way. Um, yeah. So you definitely hear more about us and for the for the students who came here and who heard first time about us, we definitely reach out to your universities and try to build stronger relationship with um, with itself. So um, we're hoping that you know not only you but your colleagues will be more familiar with with our with our company and. Um, um, and I'm sure Maria um, will be more involved with um, with your teachers and uh, you will have access to the software and, and full support from our side. And uh, I'm replying to Adam because Adam, that was going to you. Uh, yes, of course, uh, because I, due to time restriction, I'm not going to be able to talk more about any information or constraints or, you know, the perfect case study of each project. Uh, happy to discuss about it, happy to give you any information you need, anything, even the full case study. This is Ella. Um, or sorry, not Maria, well, to both of you. Um, are there any other questions there um, from, from you guys? No? Or... Feel free to um, yeah to call them out or pop them in chat as they go. You're very welcome, Kevin. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Um, well, if we don't have any further questions from you guys, then at the moment we might wrap up for now. But as um, as Marie mentioned, I'll uh, share that uh, I'll share a presentation with you uh, with all the links, and then of course you'll have um, Maria's contact details to, to get in touch there. And if you have any questions for us, then at EWB, as I say, feel free to reach out to me directly. But yeah, delighted to have you with us today, guys. And um, yeah, for those of you who haven't taken part in the competition yet, we'll look forward to um, having you on board um, if it's next year or whatever stage and working with ourselves and Bentley and, and using Bentley software. And yeah, we'll keep you posted as well then about the, the internship opportunity, but yeah, delighted to be partnered with, uh, with Bentley and to be able to offer you guys these great opportunities now. So we'll wrap it up there for now then guys. And um, as I say, any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch, but for now, thanks very much and have a lovely afternoon. Thank you so Take much. Care, everyone. Thanks for you. Bye guys. Bye, -bye. Bye everyone.